my laptop is running out of space. In this video, I'll show you how to upgrade your laptop SSD hard drive. But wait, why am I posting a computer tutorial on a site that I'm dedicating mostly to woodwork and the metalworking? Easy answer. Frankly, if you're not using technology in your shop, you're missing out. Personally, I use computers for everything in my life, including things in the shop like CAD drawings, 3D printing, and of course, uh, my videos. I found a reasonably priced SSD drive with a whopping 4 terabytes and is compatible with my computer. So let's get started. Hmm, actually, not so fast. Could there be reasons not to upgrade your drive? Check if your warranty will be invalidated. Can you find a drive that's compatible with your computer? Here's an easy way to find out. Put your computer to work. Use your favorite artificial intelligence site. Here I'm using ChatGPT. You can use uh, Copilot, you can use uh, Gemini or whatever site you might be using. My own warranty has expired, but it appears that I could have replaced this during the warranty period also without avoiding my warranty. Now go back in and ask uh, artificial intelligence to help you find a drive. I would try all uh, the artificial intelligence sites you have to uh, ensure compatibility. One of my favorite compu computer geeks online, Lyron Segev, has an excellent tutorial on this same subject and he shows more ways to ensure compatibility. Link in the description. One thing he does not mention is that if your computer is so old it uses the original BIOS type, you're limited to 2.2 terabyte hard drive size. Okay, so now I guess it is time to get going on this project. Here are the things you need. First of all, of course, a new drive. An enclosure for that drive. You need a USB-C cable, a small screwdriver bit set, tweezers, any specialty bits you need for the case, and a pry tool. Why the enclosure? Well, you need a way to copy your existing drive to the new drive. I bought mine more than six years ago and it still works. The new ones are dirt cheap. Click the link in the description or simply search for SSD enclosure. Getting this will also enable you to set up your old drive as a, a fast uh, backup drive. I recommend a version with cooling fins as the drive will get hot. Installing your new SSD drive in the enclosure is very easy. Just open it up, remove the little screw, insert the drive and close it up again. Next, you need software to copy the old drive and handle the partitions of the new drive. There are many choices. One of them is a free app called Aome Partition Assistant. I don't know if I pronounced it right. I have no idea if this is the best one as I simply selected it from a search. It happened to do the job quite well. There's a link in the description. Download and install the app as you see me doing here. Now open the app and select the drive you want to upgrade. Select clone disk. This will make an exact copy of your current disk. 
I already just did this, so you're seeing the new and old drive in reverse here, hence the error. Anyway, this process takes a long time, most likely several hours. Now it's time to change the hardware. To prevent damage, we need to depower the uh, computer. Unplug the power supply and get ready to uh, disable the battery. This is done what used to be called a BIOS, now the UEFI. On my computer, you enter that by rebooting and pressing F2. On other computers I've had, it's Escape, Delete, or F10. Here's another way that should work on uh, almost any uh, Windows computer. Press and hold Shift while you reboot. You keep holding it, and you'll get into this menu. Click Troubleshoot, go to Advanced Option, and then go to the UEA, UEFI firmware settings and restart and that will get you into the uh, UEFI. Once there, look for a setting to disable the battery. Your computer may or may not have this. Uh, it's best if it has, uh, turn it off. Um, on mine is in the configuration, just keep tapping down till you find it. Hit enter and uh, select yes and you're all set. It's time to take the back side off the computer. You may need a specialty uh, a bit, just like I show here. Each manufacturer seems to always like to use their own type of screws. Anyway, they also often hide their screws under rubber feet or decals or things like that. So make sure you get all the screws out before you attempt to remove the back. You may need to use a little pry tool, preferably plastic, to avoid damage. A lot of times the uh, back is snapped in place in addition to the screws. Once the back is off, it's usually very easy to locate the SSD drive. Here I actually have the new one already installed. Just like the SSD enclosure, it is secured by only one little screw at one end. Now reattach the back, put in all the screws, open up your computer and plug it in. That will re-engage the battery. and. Uh, uh, the computer should boot up. You may have to hit the uh, on button. We're almost done. You will see we do need to do a little uh, housekeeping on the new uh, uh, SSD drive. Once again, open our OMI uh, partition assistant and you will see that uh, the drive is the same size as before because it has empty space uh, on the drive. Most laptops have a recovery partition at the end, and we copied that. We also want to keep that, but it needs to be moved. Here's how. Select that partition, then click on Move Resize. Move the partition to the end, all the way to the end. Click OK. Now we select the C drive, and we now have room to expand it to all the free space. Just drag it to the end, click OK. And now we're ready to perform the operation. Click on apply and follow the prompts and the computer is going to reboot and do its thing and uh, we'll see the results shortly. The computer has rebooted. I'm opening File Explorer. Here you go. It's all done. Things look good. At this point I suggest you back up the drive and test it of course and uh, then it's time to uh, reinstall the old drive into the uh, enclosure and make that a backup drive. Once that's done, open uh, File Explorer, right click on that old drive and just uh, click format and do a quick format and everything is done. I'm pretty happy with the results. When I was working, I wore out my computers in less than a year. 
I've owned perhaps 30 computers or more, most of them laptops. Now in retirement, I'm able to make the computers last a lot longer, and this was much cheaper and much less time consuming than buying and setting up a new computer. I also got a very pleasant surprise. The computer is running not just faster, but a lot faster. This surprised me because other than the capacity, this new SSD drive had the same technical specs and speeds. I figured it had to do with more free space, but instead of guessing, I looked it up and sure enough, read this. Thanks for watching. See you next time.